fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms. We are leaning, we are leaning, safe and secure, from all alarms. We are leaning, we are leaning, leaning, leaning on the ever. And oh, how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way, leaning on the everlasting arm. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day, leaning on the everlasting From all alarm, we are leaning, we are leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting arms. And what have I to dread? What have I to fear? Leaning on the everlasting arm. I have blessed peace with my Lord so near. Leaning on the everlasting arm. We are leaning. Yes, we're leaning. Safe and secure, safe and secure from all along. We are leaning, yes, we're leaning, and we're leaning on the everlasting arms. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Leaning on the everlasting arm of Jesus. Amen? Amen. I can't think of anybody else to lean on any better than Jesus. Amen? I've been, I've been leaning on him for a long time now, and I'm still leaning on him. Amen? Amen. Thank God for Jesus. Amen? Right now, we're going to go before the Lord in prayer. If anyone has a, a real request, you can stand now and let it be known, or simply just by raising your hand. Deacon Phil. Member of uh, Bishop Davis, uh, Sister Cora. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yes. 
Amen. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Amen. Remember Sister Priscilla Therby in your prayers. I, uh, She texted me during the holidays. She said she was doing good. Hope to see us soon. Uh, so continue to pray for her. Pray for uh, Bishop Asa Jones Sr. That the Lord will continue to touch his body. Uh, who else? Someone else that came to my mind. All the ones with loved ones that have passed. Amen. During this corona and not the corona. Amen. It's a lot of people got out of here in 2020. Amen. So pray for those families that God will continue to strengthen them and, and uh, encourage their hearts, comfort them. Anyone else have a prayer request? If not, we're going to ask everyone to stand. I'm going to ask Bishop Ken to lead the prayer request. Also pray for those that are going to be traveling over the highways and the byways um, and those that um, <coughs> are um, apt to seek after God and do his will. Pray that the most precious will of God be uh, done in their lives. Also pray that um, all obstacles and all hindrances um, be pulled down in our lives. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We need that. Uh, there, there are certain things that have been roadblocks for us for a long time. Amen. I believe that this is the hour and this is the time uh, for those things to be pulled down. So let us pray for that as well and pray um, that our members would return. Amen. And that we would all come to the unity of the faith. Amen. And the knowledge of the Son of God. Let every heart pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come before you, Lord, we just say thank you and praise you. For your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for your anointing. We thank you for your building up uh, better in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for how you made ways where it seemed to be no way. How you kept us unto this very hour, Lord. How you led us and guided us in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, that you continue to bless us. That you continue to show forth your glory. That you continue to show forth your anointing in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you touch each and every soul under the sound of our voice. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord, that you help us. Help us to achieve. Help us to walk worthy of the vocation wherewith we've been called. Hallelujah. Bless our service on today. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Open up the door of utterance, Lord. Grant clarity of speech. Grant clarity of sound words. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost... Hallelujah. Let it enter into this atmosphere. Lord, let your presence be with us. Let it be filled with healing. Let it be filled with deliverance. Let it be filled with power, glory, and honor in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Show up, Lord. Hallelujah. Show up with all your anointing. Show up, Lord. Show up with all your power. Show up, Lord. Show up with all your deliverance. Show up, Lord. Show up with all your healing. Show up with all your righteousness. Show up with all your holiness. Lord, have your way. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord. Hallelujah. We are your people, the sheep of your pasture. Hallelujah. Your servants submit unto you. Lord, have your way. Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Amen and amen. Come on and give the Lord a praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone remain standing, please. Come on. Let us turn to the book of Psalms. The division, 16th division of Psalms, I'm sorry. Psalm 16. And it reads, Preserve me, O God, yes. for in thee do I put my trust. Yes. O oh, my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, Thou art my Lord. My goodness extendeth not to thee, but to the saints that are in the earth, and to the excellent, in whom is all my delight. Their sorrows shall be multiplied, that has hastened after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance, and of my cup, thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. 
Yea, I have a godly heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My reins also instruct me in the, in the night seasons. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Yet for my heart is glad, and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Hallelujah. It's in, and I love verse 8. It says, I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearers and doers of his word. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you got a mind like that? That you shall not be moved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the Lord on your side, know that you shall not be moved. Amen. He said, no man can pluck you out of my hands. Amen. You have to get yourself out of the Lord. Amen. He ain't going to let no man take you out. Amen. Hallelujah. They'll try. But he said, it, it, it won't prevail, in other words. Hallelujah. He said, you shall not be moved. You keep that in mind while we're going, you're going through some of the things that you're going through. Because the enemy can surely come with obstacles and circumstances and situations where you see like, it seems like ain't no way out of it sometimes. But God knows, amen. He knows and he knows how to deliver us, amen. He will deliver you in due time. Just, uh, just hang on in there. Don't faint. It ain't time to faint now. Amen. We're too close. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Uh, we're going to uh, have a short testimony and praise service. Amen. Yeah. So I, I want to sing this old song. It's just a simple song. But it, I, I, I want to sing it because the Lord has blessed Christian ministries. Amen. Yeah. And sometimes we tend to just overlook the fact that we've been blessed, amen? Right. Just for something little, but this is a big thing that the Lord has blessed us with. Yeah. We've only been in this building since 2013, right. and the Lord is 2021, and he's already blessed us with something even better, amen? Yeah. So I want you to see what the Lord has done. Oh, see what the Lord has done. You ought to count your many blessings. See what the Lord has done. Oh, see what the Lord has done. Yes, see what the Lord has done. You ought to count your many blessings. See what the Lord the Lord has done. Oh, see what the Lord has done. Yes, see what the Lord has done. You ought to count your many blessings. See what the Lord has done. Amen. Amen. I will be the first one to praise the Lord in 2021. Deacon Fields. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, uh, I thank you, praise the Lord, for just today. You know, if I was to sing a song, I'd sing just another day that the Lord has kept me. You know, we didn't keep ourselves. It was God who kept us. I want to thank and praise the Lord for touching um, uh, people's mind in, in that Congress to give us that money. And I'm looking forward to some more. 
I just thank and praise the Lord. <laughs> you know, uh, people be like, I be praying, I'm like, Lord, touch his mind, touch his mind, Lord, touch his mind and give us that money, Lord. <laughs> yeah. you, you have not because you ask not. You want, yeah. you, want, you want the Lord to touch people's mind, you have to pray for it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and I thank and praise the Lord because 2020 has been, I don't even, re 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 I, I guess in my mind, I want to forget it. The whole year. No, it was good for you. <laughs> it, it was good. It was good. But uh, it's a lot of tragedies happened. People, a lot of deaths yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's been so many deaths, you can't even keep track of them. It's, mm -hmm. it's just yeah. been so many and stuff. But as someone said, as long as you see deaths, God's still sitting on his throne. Yeah. Uh, I just like to praise the Lord for everything. Pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Ah, uh, sister, first lady, go ahead, first lady. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank and praise the Lord for being here today. Thank and praise the Lord for my life, health, and my strength. Yeah. I just want to thank and praise the Lord for seeing my birthday on today. Amen. I, you know, 57, I'm not ashamed to say it, 57. Amen. Looking I good. Thank, yeah, I thank him for that because... A lot of people didn't make it to see 57. Amen. And like Deacon Fields was saying, 2020 was a hard year. Yeah. And we all didn't know what might happen. Amen. But we, I just want to thank and praise the Lord for bringing us this far. Yes. You know, thank and praise the Lord for this all down through the years. Nine children, yeah. a husband for 30 some years. Amen. And just keeping my mind. Yes. You know, and um, with, our, with the church and everything, just being a, a, my, being a keeper. Yeah, you know, because yeah. he will keep you if you want to be kept. Amen. You know, no matter what comes, what goes, what happens, you know, you got to be strong in the Lord. Amen. You got to have that solid rock foundation. Yes. And I just want to thank and praise the Lord. I'm standing here today, and I thank and praise him for the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And I thank him for just being, you know, just keep strengthening me. Amen. I know my these old knees is bad, yeah. but yet my mind ain't. And yeah. that's, you know, I got to keep on going no thank matter what comes or what goes. Yes. I got to keep going on. And I just want to thank and praise the Lord today for letting me see 57 years. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Looking good, First Lady. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank, thank you. you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you, Lord, for being so good to me. So good to me. Lord, I just want to thank you. 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 I want to thank you, Lord, for being so good to me. So good to me. Thank you, Jesus. I just want the Lord to know that I thank him. Amen. There's so many things that he has done for me. I praise God for how he keep on making ways Thank when there Lord. was no Thank way. Yes. I praise God for how he keep on healing and touching in my, in my family. Yes. I praise God for the things that he has brought me through. I praise him for this spiritual journey. You know I wouldn't take nothing for my journey. Thank you, There's Lord. no amount of money. I, I've already thought about this. You know we talk sometimes just to be taught. Mm. But I've been walking with the Lord now for 47 years, thank and I Lord. want the Lord to know that I thank him because down through the years, God has kept me through so many things. Yes. So many things. Things for, that was times when I thought I wasn't going to even make it through. Mm. But God had his hand on me when I wasn't even aware that he's had his hand on me because there was time it looked like he thank had you, left Jesus. me all along. But God, in his word, he said, i never leave you. And I want to thank, pray, praise God Hallelujah. for his word. I praise him for the spiritual, the, the spiritual growth that I see in me. Thank you, I thank God for how he encourages my heart from time to time. Mm. When I feel all alone, God is right there. I'm never alone. Yeah. And I want to thank and praise God for how he just continued 
uh, giving me revelation and knowledge. There are some things that God does for you. It makes you so happy. All you can do is That's say, right. Lord, I thank you. Thank you Lord. I thank you. You can't even put it into words, but I praise God for the teaching down through the years. Mm -hmm. You know, the word is something that you can stand on. Yes. You, can, you can bank on it. It's Amen. better than money. Amen. And I praise God for everything that he means to me. Praise God for how he takes care of my children and my grandchildren, how he protects us. I praise God Thank for how he Lord. has and taken care of Christian ministries. Yes. You know, down through the years, down through 2020, God has kept us. Amen. He kept us from this Amen. coronavirus. coronavirus. Yes. Yes. He has kept us. He protected us Thank while you, we were in our car, running here and there, going to and fro. I praise God for everything that he means to me. I praise God for how he keep our hearts encouraged. He yes. keep my pastor, Bishop Quinn, encouraged. Amen. He has to deal with some things when he dealing with me and y'all. He has to deal with some stuff. That's so right. I want the Lord to know Amen. that I appreciate you, Bishop. I thank God for how he give you revelation. <laughs> I praise God for thank the teaching you, that you are putting in us. I praise God for the patience that you have toward us. So continue praying for Christian ministry. Continue praying for us one by one as a whole. We need each other. Oh, pray. Man. Let us pray for one another. Amen. Let us love no matter what. Man. Like I said in Bible class, it don't matter what I do to you. You still should be able to treat me right. That's right. You still should be able to love me. Yes. We're going to rub each other. Yeah. We're going to say things. We're going to do things that yes. we shouldn't do. Yeah. At the time, we really don't know any better. We think we know. You think we know. Thank we you, don't Jesus. know any better. Thank but God you. got the record. God knows the heart. Hallelujah. So continue praying and loving upon one another. Amen. Hallelujah. I forgot Bishop do have to put up with all those hard-headed, <laughs> stiff-necked, rebellious <laughs> people, don't he? <laughs> Go ahead, Sister Praise, Cora, the, praise, pra you. praise the Lord, Saints. Praise the Lord. Um, I just thank God for this opportunity to testify. Yes. Yes. You know, to be able to get up and see and say what the Lord has done for you. Yes. You know, 2020 has brought us a lot of anger and anxiety yes. and, and anticipation yes. Yes. and the what next and you know, a lot of that, nah, you know, nah. and through all that, we had to still go with our own mess. Oh, yeah. You know, so I just want the, um, the Lord to just keep strengthening me. Mm -hmm. You know, I miss my husband. Yes. I miss him a lot. I miss him in the church. Yeah. And that alone, you know, whatever he has to deal with, I thank God for not letting it touch and stick on me. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I want to keep be able to keep moving right. in the Lord, just right. keep moving in the Lord. And eventually the Lord will work out whatever he needs to work out with my husband. Yes. But I just want you to know I miss him. Mm -hmm. I miss him a lot. I miss his praise. Yes. You know, I miss his words. And, mm -hmm. you know, but at home it's a different thing. It's a yeah. different animal. You know, you got to yeah. deal with. Yeah. And you got to be prayed up. You got to be girded up in the Lord. Yeah. Because the Lord doesn't treat us as our sins that we deserve, you no, know? And no. I was like, I'm just so happy that the Lord has brought me through, you mm -hmm. know, and hasn't, you know, we, everyone in this room has been touched by someone with Corona, yeah. but God has still kept his hands yeah. on us. Amen. You know, so I just am so grateful Thank for that, you, Lord. you know, and I just want to just be able to keep on going in the Lord, yes. you know, this ain't the, this ain't the end, mm -mm. you know, this is not the end. He has more work for us to yes. do, you know, and I am ready and willing to do the work of the Lord that he mm -hmm. has for us to do when we yes. move because you know we moving up yes. we're not moving down we're not yes. moving sideways we're not moving left or right we're moving up in mm -hmm. the lord mm -hmm. and i want to be a part of that you yes. know i want to be able to stick with someone that is bringing up you All know right. coming up yes. and moving in the lord yes. you know and whether it be my husband or not mm -hmm. i still want it to be in me Amen. you know so just pray that i just continue to do the work of the lord and i want to thank the lord even though we go through our trials and tribulations you know even though he's not here and coming with me right. i still get up yes. and i still praise the lord yes. and i still get ready Hallelujah. and i still come to church because you know one thing that he is not that i know that he is doing he is watching me yeah you know yes. even though his mind is somewhere else and you know because i know he knows the lord mm -hmm. oh my god i know he knows the lord yeah but you know just continue to pray for him and pray for me that God gives me the strength in 2021 to endure whatever I got to endure and not be moved and All stand right. by him. So All just right. pray that we just continue to go on and pray for my husband that God's will be in him Amen. is the way he is in me. Amen. Because I got to set the example. Yes. I could be just like him. Mm. I could be like, okay, well, whatever he going through, I'm going to have to go through too. Mm. You know, so I'm just going to sit here yeah. and just not go to church and watch it on TV and you know, but God is not in me that way. All right. He said, you got to move. You yes. know, you can't yes. stay stagnant. You yes. know, you got to be in him. You know, yes. you got to trust 
trust his system. Yes. It does work, you mm -hmm. know, and I believe that it does work because it's working in me. Yeah. You know, so I'm just going to continue to be the, the, you know, what God's will is for me mm -hmm. because I got to save my soul. Mm -hmm. You know, I love my husband with all my heart, but yes. God, it's a personal thing. Yeah. When I go up to meet the maker, I can't take my husband with me. No. I got to bear my own sin. That's right. So just continue to pray. <laughs> That we do better in 2021 than we yes, did in 2020. Yes. Amen. Lord, I just want to thank, thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you. for my experience uh, yeah. street life a lot Amen. of people say why do you tell your business mm -hmm. and I explain to them it's not about my business mm -hmm. it's about Christ Amen. where he brought me from because you yeah. never know where your testimony can help a, another individual yeah. yeah one thing about me was I, I lived down the street and I was homeless mm -hmm. I was married for 18 years and I allowed the streets the drugs the, the liquor and everything yeah. to control my life yeah that was my God mm -hmm. you know but when God changed me he changed me amen and I thank him for that thank you and Lord I'm not bragging on myself I'm bragging on the Holy All Ghost right. yeah you know what he's done for me with I mean it's 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 a blessing just this morning I got up they diagnosed me with this uh diverticulitis and uh which is uh holes in your colon and that and I was in so much pain last night to about probably about four o'clock this morning mm. and I said uh, and I thought about it and then I, I remember picking Chris up this morning for church and I said you know 
I said uh, to said to her, I said, uh, "Thank you." When Lord. I was in the streets, I didn't allow nothing to stop me from partying. All right. So why can't I do the difference from God? Yeah. yeah. You know, and I thank God for giving me a mind to press my way. I don't uh -huh. need music. Mm -hmm. You know, just to be around the saints, mm -hmm. I get strength, and yeah. I get more strength and more strength. I've been going through a lot of hell on my job, but I, I <laughs> praise my way through it. I thank God. God showed me some things in my life. Yeah. I thought I had the victory, and uh, I, I, I just don't have the victory yet. But, you know, I'm, I thank God I can admit it. Amen. You know, I, there's some work to be done under mm -hmm. construction. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of people pulling me from different churches and this <laughs> and that. And uh, they said, where you going over to church at? I said, I'm with Bishop Quinn. All right. They said, oh, okay. And, I, and I'm so excited. To, I'm, I want to just get in this new building yeah. and just – he gave me a little quick tour, and I was like, wow, yeah. look at God, Amen. man. And he gave me a part of the vision that God's going to be working on. I'm like, wow, this yeah. is awesome. Thank you, so Lord. I'm very excited Amen. about my life, your life, everybody's mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. You know, I work the ministry in the streets a lot, mm -hmm. and I uh, try to get people, I try to encourage them. A lot of times they just they just don't want to budge, but I, I don't knock them. I just pray for them because yeah. I've been there. Amen. I know what it's like, Amen. you know, and God has blessed me, and, I, and I've been a giver. I mean, my parents, they was married 50 years before they left this earth, and mm -hmm. I thank God because they put the word in me. I used to be angry and be like, why, why is you picking, why me? Mm -hmm. You know, you the seventh child, you chosen, uh, whatever. <laughs> but God is so awesome, and it paid off. Amen. It really paid off, and I All thank right. God for it because life is precious, Yes, and I is. thank God for the life that he's given me. And I, like I said, I thank him for the experience mm -hmm. because it's short. It's short. So many of my friends and everything has left the earth. And, and I said, wow, man. And looking bad, and I see a lot of them come up to me. And, they, and I was just, just telling Chris, I said, man, they give me such a big hug. And they look at me all mm -hmm. funny and strange. Like, thank wow. Jesus. You know, and God will change. I yes. said, Lord, let me be that light that you can get, yeah. the, you can get the Lord glory out of yeah. it. Yeah. You know, it ain't about me, nothing mm -hmm. about me. Mm -hmm. more people talk about me, the more I can pray and stay focused. That's right. Pray for me in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I like to thank and praise the Lord for 2020. Amen. I went through a lot of different things in 2020, but I think 2020 made me a better person. Amen. In the Lord. Amen made me pray more, it made me keep my mind stayed on him more, it made me just, just to take another look, amen? You know how sometimes you, always you can see everyone else, but you can't see yourself. So 2020 made me look in the mirror at myself. I, th I think it was Michael Jackson say, I'm looking at the man in the mirror, <laughs> and that's what I did in 2020. I was looking at the woman in the mirror, amen? And I didn't like what I saw, amen? So I said, hey, something's got to give. And I said, I want to be closer to the Lord. I realize that we're in the last days, and we're living in perilous times, and we don't know when our last day will be, amen? If anybody knows uh, or can predict when your last day will be, then you see me after service, amen? <laughs> I remember uh, 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 someone was witnessing to somebody one time, and and the person said, oh, I, I got time to be saved. I got time. So the person said, well, how much time you got? And the person couldn't even answer it because we don't know how much time we have. So it behooves us just to get ready and stay ready. Amen? Amen. You got to test it. I was just going to add that the New Year's is scary to me because every New Year is closer. Mm -hmm. It's closer. Mm -hmm. It's closer to... You getting out of here by death, and it's closer to Christ coming back. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and and you have to examine yourself. Yeah. You know, are you the same that you were last year? Did you make any improvements on your spiritual life? Mm. You know, you have to uh, reflect on yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, because you know God wants us to be our best. Yes. You know, He gave His best, and He wants us to do our best. Yeah. And every year that go by, it's like an evaluation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know, on your job, mm -hmm. they give you an evaluation. And if you don't do right, they ain't going to give you no raise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they might get rid of you. <laughs> but, um, you know, we have to take inventory of ourselves. Let, let us make 
2021 a year God can be proud of us. Let us make 21 a year that God can get some glory out of us. You know, just pray for me in Jesus' name. Amen, but oh. I, I don't just do inventory once a year, amen? That's too long. I do inventory daily, amen? When the day is over and I kneel down to pray, I say, Lord, what, 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 what transpired in my life this day that wasn't pleasing in your sight? Did I say anything? Did I do anything that wasn't pleasing in your sight, amen? So... Paul said, I bear about the dying in my body of the Lord Jesus Christ daily. He didn't say I do it every year. No, a year takes is too long. I'd be to forget about some of the stuff I done done. Amen. I ain't, I'm, I'm not, you know, hey. Uh, yeah, you, you all know what I mean. I have to do it daily. Now, for those who can remember everything and do it yearly, you go right ahead. But I can't risk that. Amen. Because I get too many fogs, <laughs> fog spots and, and memory loss things, little spots. So I try to do it daily, amen? Just go over what I've done that day. Did I do better today than I did yesterday? Or did I do be worse today than I did yesterday? You know, so you take inventory daily on your life and, and make the adjustments that we have to make. And see, don't you come out a better person, Amen. Amen. Sometimes you just have to keep your mouth shut, even if you know you're right. Just keep your mouth shut. Amen. Yes. We don't have to say everything that comes to our minds. Yes. Amen. Just listen. It pay That's why God gave us two ears and one mouth. We, right. we need to listen more rather than talk. Amen. Right. Sometimes you try to straighten things out and they get worse. Amen. So it's better to just sometimes just be quiet. Yeah, I found out that a quiet spirit, there's strength in it, amen? All down through the years with my unsaved companion, I found out if I be quiet, God will work things out, amen? Sometimes we talk too much, amen? We share too much information. As they say, you know, when folk want to talk about you, they just say, you know, I want to share this with you. No, you just want to gossip, Amen? We don't share. We don't share. Amen. No, don't. You can tell when when people want to gossip with you. Girl, I just want to share this with you. I just heard. I just. No, that's all right. I don't want to share nothing. I because I ain't gonna share it no more. And you and I hope you'll stop. If we nip things right in the bud, it'll stop. Amen. Amen. A lot of times we we nitpick at one another. Amen. Let's make 2021 a better year, for even for us, amen? Let's love on each other more, amen? Let's support each other more. Let's pray for each other more, amen? Let's pray for our pastor and first lady, amen? Because they're the first ones the enemy comes after. If he can get them to stop, the rest of us just going to come to a halt, amen? Amen. So let's pray for our pastor. Let's keep him lifted up in 2021, amen? And watch the church grow, amen? Watch it grow. When we get that love and unity among ourselves, like God said, have it. Oh, y'all going to see some things. You're going to see folk getting saved. You're going to see folk uh, living holier, amen? So let's, let's do better in 2021, amen? Can I get an amen? Amen, amen. amen. All right. We're going to ask Deacon Fields to, if he would come up now and... Lift our morning's offering, amen. Amen. 2021, I'm looking for great things, amen. Amen. And stop talking poor. Talk rich, amen. I was telling someone the other day, I said, yeah, well, I can't afford that. You know I'm on a fixed income now. And the Holy Ghost say, keep saying you're on a fixed income and you will be on one. Say, so your, your God ain't fixed. So quit telling everybody you poor and you're on a fixed income. No, you're not. Because your father is rich, amen? And anything you ask in his name, if it's according to his will, you will get it, amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Father, we come before you in the mighty name of Jesus, asking, Lord, that you'll bless this offering. Bless Christian ministries, Lord, as we venture to our new building. We're asking, Lord, that you'll bless as we sow into your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen.
Ask everyone to stand, please. And Deacon Fields. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. As we offer up to you the sacrifices of thanksgiving, as we offer up to you the sacrifices of praise. Say we bring, we bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring, we bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. As we offer up to you the sacrifices of thanksgiving, as we offer up to you the sacrifices of praise. Amen. How many out there don't feel no ways tired? You know, the, the enemy is is trying to wear everybody he knows out with, with tiredness, amen? amen? You go to work on your job, you come home, and you're just so wore out. Sometimes you don't feel like calling nobody and encouraging nobody. You just want to get somewhere and go to sleep. How many just been sleeping a lot, amen? I know I, everybody in here probably can raise their hand to that, amen? But we, don't have, we can't give up to tiredness with the enemy, amen? Because if you get down to pray, that tiredness will leave you, believe me. You get in the presence of God and that tiredness will flee, amen? Oh, we got to pray more in 2021, amen? When we get into the new building and, and when God allows us to get back to prayer night, I want to see the saints out praying, amen? Because that's where your strength comes from, amen? I miss prayer. How many miss prayer? I miss praying at this altar and, and up here, amen? Amen. It's a difference than praying here and at home. Amen. Because his eye is on this altar all the time. And it's a sacrifice to come out just to pray. Amen. We had to offer up sacrifices. Amen. Amen. Uh, our afternoon announcements, I don't have any. We're, we are having Bible class Wednesday here in this building. Amen. That'll be our last service in this building. Amen. And I was told when I, years ago when I first got into the old church that uh, however you start the new year out, that's how you'll usually end up doing. So I want to see everybody out to Bible class Wednesday, amen? amen? So that let me know that you will be coming to Bible class, amen? Amen, amen. amen. So it's good to start off on a good foot, amen? Amen. amen. So come out. Don't let the enemy make you think you're too tired. Yeah, come as you are. I don't care how you look. Just come. Amen. Amen. Be in the Bible class. Amen. Amen. And that'll be our last service. Next Sunday, we will be in our new building. Amen. Amen. Give God a praise. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I, when we first started out, a uh, pastor was the pastor at Bread of Heaven. I thought, oh, wow. God is really going to bless this man. And we left there in 2011, and he said we'd only be in that building for two years, and we were in there, I think, two years exactly, and God blessed him with this building, amen? And then it's only been, what, seven years? And now we're getting, God has blessed us with another building. So stick with Bishop Quinn, amen? Can any good thing come from Bishop Quinn? Amen. God is using him, Amen. He has a plan, amen? And I like people that have a vision. He has a vision. You don't see too many pastors nowadays with a vision, amen? So stick with Pastor Quinn. He will do you good, amen? Right now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce him to everybody, uh, well, to present him to everybody because we all know him, amen? 
Thank God for the butlers coming back out and being with us today. Amen. Amen. All right, it gives me great pleasure to present to you our pastor, Bishop Frankie L. Quinn. Let's receive him with a hearty amen. 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 Come on and bless the Lord with me. 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 Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Truly, it is good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. I can truly say I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And the Bible tells us to enter in his gates with thanksgiving and to enter in his courts with praise. Praise ye the Lord. And we certainly, once again, uh, no protocol has already been set but we do thank and praise the Lord for First Lady, amen, and her birthday on today, amen. Thank you, Lord. She liked that Heinz 57, amen, all kind of flavors in there. Thank you, Lord, and we thank God for her and her legacy and all that she has done, amen. And it just makes me a little sad. I know all of my little children, they got out of town and some went out of town. And I'm like, y'all should be here celebrating with y'all mama. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. But we certainly thank God and praise God uh, for his greatness and his goodness. Amen. That the Lord has blessed us. And we certainly do praise God for Pastor Duck. Amen. And all the ministers and the evangelists of Arrington. Amen. Minister Grady, we thank God for them. And we certainly do thank God for Mother Louise. Amen. And our ushers. Hallelujah. We thank God for each and every one of you. We thank God for our media team up there being diligent in the work of the Lord. Amen. And we thank God for you all being here on today. Amen. And I'm glad. I'm excited also about uh, our Facebook following, uh, our virtual ministry, um, that the Lord has touched the hearts and the people. Uh, we have some consistent uh, members that are online. Amen. If you're there online, just put praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God for you as well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now I was looking at Sister Cora. I said, Sister Cora and Sister Louise, they, we all got the memo. We all matching. Thank you, Lord. Got our purple on. Hallelujah. We did. There you go. Okay, I was checking out Pastor Duck, see if she had purple on. But we certainly do thank God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And as far as by um, way of additional announcements, uh, as we know that we'll be uh, moving from this location on on Saturday, January 9th, uh, I need all hands on deck to help help move uh, this transition. Uh, we've already uh, had some brethren. We worked, uh, was Monday. We worked Monday, uh, took two truckloads uh, down to the church already. So we got two and a half to go, amen. So we need some help, help moving it down there. And then we're going to help and need some help getting things together. But first things first, got to get it there, right? Thank you, Lord, and we thank God for that. The sale of the church is moving along. Uh, the people got till January 25th, amen, to, to come to closing, and I'm praying that, uh, you know, all things work together. Amen. God is good. I say God is good. God moves by his grace and by his power. Uh, we're working uh, steadily on the daycare. Uh, we're going to have a daycare down there, New Horizons Daycare Center, and we are uh, Looking forward to that, uh, working with the architect to get the plans together so we can get uh, the approval. I've done all the, the, the paperwork on the um, administrative end uh, to get all that done, uh, but now we just need the plans uh, in the city to approve the plans uh, for the daycare. So we're working diligently on that. Uh, also, too, I'll be meeting uh, with a couple of advisors uh, this coming week on the, I gotta schedule the appointment, but I'm gonna schedule it for this coming week uh, for our Youth Development Academy. 
So we'll have our youth development mentorship program in place. And then after that, I'll be working on our music shed uh, to have uh, programs and things like that through musicians. And that will also be a feeder for our church so that we can have some musicians as well. I'm not looking to take anybody members, <laughs> amen, as far as that go. Uh, but those that are looking uh, to excel in their talents to, and have a need and a desire to learn about music, uh, our music shed will offer that opportunity. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Amen. And then uh, we'll also uh, work on ministry as far as ministry goes, feeding the hungry, closing Clothing, clothing the naked, you know, and having our, our assistance, our handprint in the community. Amen? God is a good God. God is a good God. So there's enough work for everybody. Amen? Hallelujah. God, God wants willing workers. That sign up there isn't up there for naught. It's time for us to be about our Father's business. Uh, one thing that time has taught me, uh, we don't know how much of it it has, as Pastor Duck was saying, and Paul said this. He said, let us redeem the time. Because a lot of us weren't born in the church. A lot of us had uh, a past. And we've lost kind of some steps. But that's why Paul said, let us redeem the time. Redeeming the time. For the time of the Lord is at hand. And that simply means, you know, put your best foot forward. Amen? Hallelujah. Lay aside every weight and the things that does so easily beset us. So we certainly do thank God for that uh, and the work of the ministry. We thank God for your love and support. And I'm glad that we are excited about going down there and being down there um, at this particular hour. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, Pastor Duck mentioned something else I wanted to uh, piggyback on, but that has slipped my mind. You know, the Holy Ghost told me, write the stuff down that you want to talk about. How many of y'all know we get in trouble when we don't follow the Holy Ghost? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hopefully it will come back to me. But, yes, but we want to um, have our brethren here to help us to move and to move things uh, into its position and getting things together. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now the Holy Ghost is gracious unto me. He's gracious. Tell somebody he's gracious. Yes, I've just, he just dropped it back in my mind. As she was talking about prayer, um, I was down there at our new location, uh, I believe it was Friday, and the Lord dropped in my heart um, um, that we, I don't want to say take back the site, uh, but we need to uh, saturate it with prayers. We need to saturate the place with prayers. So um, we want to, um, uh, on, on Friday, on Friday, those of you that will, uh, meet me at the church at 6 o'clock so that we can start praying in the, in the chapel. Which we're naming the Deacon Grady uh, Senior Chapel. And um, we want to start praying in the chapel. And then once that Holy Ghost gets to moving and, and the, the anointing gets to falling upon us, we just want to walk around the building Praying and, and praying for vision, praying for anointing, praying for the things that be of God, whatever God lays on your heart. Amen? Thank you, Lord. So we want to do that 6 o'clock on Friday, 6 o'clock on Friday at the new building, 930 uh, Liberty Street. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Amen? Uh, I got a few amens, but... The Bible said, Jesus said, where two or three are gathered together in his name, uh, I'll be in there in the midst. Amen. So uh, we want to do that so we can saturate the place with anointed prayer and, and, and give God glory, give God thanks. Uh, man, anytime that uh, there was a war going on with Israel, Israel always sent out its praisers and its worshipers first. Amen. Because they were acknowledging God. They were uh, calling on his presence to have the anointing of God in, his, in their presence. Don't you want the anointing of God in your presence? God said, I'll go before you and prepare the way. And we want God to prepare the way. Don't we? Hallelujah. He made a way. He keeps on making a way. So we certainly uh, want you to show up with us and then uh, show up with us here on Saturday 
at 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll have the U-Haul here. Uh, need that man labor um, to uh, um, help move uh, the, the, the stuff from here to the new building. And in the new building, I want two crews to have a crew here to load the truck, and then I'll have a crew at the, uh, uh, the new place to unload the truck. And that will make things expeditious, and that will make things work uh, smoothly. And then while the, the, the truck is being unloaded, then having those that are here to stage things in the uh, hallway so that when the other truck pulls up, it'll be able to be loaded and moved down the way. Amen? God gives you a plan if we listen to it. Amen? Hallelujah. So we want to uh, encourage you, and we want you to continue to be a part of what God is doing. And, and as we talk about being a part, I'm going to get to the message. Y'all give me a, just a couple more seconds here. As we get talking about being a part, um, uh, think about the gifts and what God has called you to do. Don't, don't discount that. Don't discredit that. Amen. Because this is the opportunity to work in your gifts and in your callings. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. This is the opportunity to work in your gifts and in your callings. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I thank God uh, uh, for the handiwork of God. I thank God for his anointing. Thank God for his power. Thank God for his strength. Hallelujah. So as you want to stand with me uh, in the name of Jesus. And we certainly do thank God once again for this new year. This new year. 2020 uh, was a year of vision. And as Pastor Duck said earlier, as you turn with me to the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 18. As Pastor Duck said earlier, that uh, in 2020, she was able to see herself. And um, that, that which she has said is what 2020 was about. 2020 was not just about vision, but it was about people seeing themselves. And if you're honest, um, you saw uh, the sn covers were snatched off of our nation. Amen. The, and things were snatched off of you as an individual. And things were snatched off of our, even our communities. Amen. But all things work together for good uh, to them that love God. And if you're honest with yourself, you saw some good things and you saw some bad things. And, you know, uh, thank God for both. And, and, and work on those, those areas in 2021 that, that you need to improve. Amen. Coming into this year, we ought to believe God. Amen? Hallelujah. And as Deacon Fields, I know I'm trying to get to the scriptures, but as Deacon, I think that was Deacon Fields. I think that was him that said, somebody, one of y'all that was out there testifying about that corona, and it wasn't uh, uh, the fact that we wasn't around anybody with it. Amen? But it was the fact that God, Sister Cora said that, huh? Yeah, that, that the, Lord, the Lord didn't allow us to get it. Amen? Hallelujah. Come on here. Yes, right. Give God a praise. Thank you, Jesus. He'll protect you from danger seen and unseen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we praise God for that. Praise him in this atmosphere because God is great and he's greatly to be praised. In the book of Genesis chapter 18, and let us drop down to verse 14. Genesis 18 and verse 14. And the scripture reads, is anything too hard for the Lord? At that time, uh, at the appointed time, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Amen. Let us read that again. Is, there, is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Let me do it one more time. Is, is anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, 
Amen. At the time appointed, I will return unto thee. Tell your neighbor, God will return uh, according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly thank you for this anointed hour, this sacred moment to preach your word. We ask you, Lord, that you cover us with your blood, send forth your anointing, send forth your praising power, send forth your uh, word of deliverance, clarity of thought and speech. This we pray in Jesus' name, amen and amen. As we uh, begin to look at the word of the Lord, as you begin to take your seat in this first service of the year, January 1st, 2021, uh, January 3rd, 2021. The subject of our lesson is, is anything too hard for the Lord? Is anything too hard for the Lord? Let us say that together. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Is anything too hard for the the Lord. And as you uh, were able to deduct from this particular text uh, that God was speaking uh, to Abraham and he was also speaking indirectly to Sarah. Amen. And saying that she shall have a son and she shall bring forth that son at the appointed time. And and when we begin to look at this particular text and begin to study the things that surrounded the text, we see that God had dealt with Abraham and visited him and begin to speak with him and remind him of the promise. Because God had literally told Abraham this particular message 75 years ago. And when he told him that 75 years ago, he told Abraham, I want you to leave your, your father and your mother. I want you to leave this country and go to a place where I will show unto you. Uh, it was actually 25 years ago. And he told him that I'm going to bring you into a place, a place that is flowing with milk and honey. And he told him that you were going to be a great nation, a great nation. And at this particular time, at this particular verse, uh, Abraham himself was around 99 years old. And about this time, Sarah was between 89 and 90 years old. And the thing about this particular promise that is when the Lord had returned and spoken unto them the 13 years prior to this moment, uh, uh, Abraham and Sarah uh, tried to help God out. They tried to help God out by uh, Sarah giving Abraham her handmaiden and she he went into the handmaiden and had a son by the name of Ishmael and God told Abraham that Ishmael is not your heir Ishmael is not the one anytime that we try to help God out we get ourselves in trouble anytime you try to assist God in in trying to accomplish his will and his plan you'll get yourself in trouble it's better to let God do it it's better to let God handle it. It's better to allow God to walk, uh, to allow him to order your steps. The Bible says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. It's good to let God walk us in the ways that he needs to take us because when we try to get ourselves in it, we mess it up. Anytime that we try to do it our way, we mess it up. Anytime we try to help God out, we mess things up. And that's what Abraham and Sarah did. They messed things up. But God was there to recover them. God was there to bless them. God said to Abraham that even though you tried to do this thing, but I'm still going to bless your seed because I made a promise that I was going to bless your seed. Anytime 
time you make a mistake, oh my God, God is able to turn that thing around because all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are the called according to his purpose. I, I thank God for his ultimate wisdom. I, I thank God for his knowledge and understanding because sometimes we don't know, but God knows. God, God knows and God knows and he understands. God looks on the heart of man. I thank God that God looks beyond my, my, my in conditions, my, my failures, but he looks on our heart. And he, if he sees that your heart is right, God is there to help you. God is there to deliver you. God is there to strengthen you. Come on in. Just clap your hands and give God a praise. And, and as we begin to look at this particular text, uh, God asked Sarah a, a proverbial question. And that question is, uh, is there anything too hard for the Lord? And, and the reason why God had made that statement is because uh, Sarah herself had been past the time uh, of her menstrual cycle. Sarah had been past the time of bearing children. She said, shall I have pleasure with my Lord? that the without well, that I'm old she 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 doubted within her own heart and in her own mind that lord it seems like my time has passed my it seems like my hour has exceeded me uh, sometimes when God makes promises unto you, it sometimes it feels like God has passed you over. Sometimes you feel like, Lord, uh, what you have said unto me, my God, if you would have done it earlier, oh, my God, things would be all right, but things would work out better. Uh, when I think even about Moses, Moses was given the call to go down to Egypt to declare the word of the God at 80 years old. Look at that. He went on a journey. He went on a mission. God signed him up uh, and told him to go down to talk to Pharaoh at 80 years old. My God. And Moses, he himself tried to make all kind of excuses about uh, why he was unqualified. But, but you know, if God be for you, who then can be against you? If God called you, if God anointed you, if God God is the one that's going to appoint you. Uh, let every man be true in God. Hallelujah. Let, let every man be a liar and God be true. My God, I couldn't even get that one out. That was the Holy Ghost said, up, up, up. Hallelujah. Come on and give God a praise. Come on and give God a praise. My God, so Sarah, hallelujah, and Abraham himself, the Bible says that he was old. Uh, my God, they didn't have no Marvin Gaye back then to play Let's Get It On. They didn't have no other music back then to get them in the mood. And, and they was just there in the bed. Hallelujah, my God. But don't you know God is able? Somebody say God is able. Hallelujah, God is is able and and what God has promised uh, it has to come to pass so so God said to her a second time that is anything too hard for the Lord uh, my God because God had made a promise uh, he said that at the appointed time and at the appointed season that thou shalt bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name uh, hallelujah Isaac thou shalt have the son uh, my God now shall call his name Isaac and and God had his plan had his hand on them that at the appointed time things shall come to pass uh, because God made his promise uh, because God's word is on it uh, and because God has said it uh, you can count on it my God God said at the appointed time I will return you see unto God there is a season there is an hour for everything under the sun there's a time to be born there's a time to die there's a time to cry there's a time to laugh our job is to know what season we're in hallelujah so that we'll be able to know how to walk with God there's a season 
season of blessing. There's a time when it seems like everything is going your way. When those things happen, that's your season. That's your season of blessing. My God, and there's a season, there's a season of pruning. A lot of us don't like that season of pruning. But you got to look at what Jesus said. He said, I am the true vine. And my father is the husband man. And every branch that is in me uh, bringeth forth fruit. He purges it. Sometimes you're in a season of purging because God is getting ready to cause you to be in a position to bring forth more fruit. In a season of pruning, sometimes it feels bad. Sometimes you go through loss. You may lose some friends. You may lose some loved ones. You may lose some enemies. You may lose some income. You may lose some situations that are going on. But you got to realize, Lord, what's going on? I haven't done anything wrong. Uh, I haven't said anything wrong. Lord, why is all of this happening unto me? But you got to realize with your Holy Ghost mind that I'm in a season of pruning that God is pruning me God is taking away so I can come back better so I can bear more fruit oh, so I can be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might God is working some things out He's licking off that dead weight. Those things that are trying to suck the life out of me. Oh my God. So uh, though you may be losing some things but you're gaining with God uh, tell your neighbor I'm gaining with God though it may seem like I'm going down but tell your neighbor I'm really going up oh hallelujah God he's giving me what I need Hallelujah. He's making a way. You ought to give God a praise. You ought to magnify the name of the Lord. Thank God for your season. Thank God for your situation. Thank God for his pruning. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Can't nobody do you like the Lord. Come on and give Give God a praise. Come on and magnify him. Oh, my God. You see, God is good. And he told Sarah, he said, I'm coming back in your season. I'm coming back in your season of life. Oh, my Lord, I'm coming back at a time where you should bring forth a son. I'm coming back in a time that you should receive the promise how many of you know that the promises of God, they are yea and amen. You've got to know that God, he is a promise keeper. Oh my Lord, and it doesn't matter if God be for you. Who then can be against you? With God on your side, though they try to slay you, you've got to trust in God. Though the enemy comes up against you like a flood you've got to know with God that the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him oh Lord you've got a time of blessing there is a season of blessing there is a time of deliverance there is a time for joy there is a time for pain there is a time for weeping but weeping may do for a night but joy tell your neighbor but joy your joy will come in the morning we trust in God who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you're able to ask or think according to the power that worketh within us come on and give God a praise oh 
Lord, give me 10 more minutes and we'll cut across this field. You see, God, God gives messages and he plants seeds in individuals to spring forth at the appointed time. When he dealt with Sarah and Abraham, this This is not the first time that they heard about the word of the Lord. This is not the first time where God told them that you're going to bring forth a son. This is not the first time. Liar. This is not the first time where God told him that you were going to bring forth a son. Uh, he was planting seed in Abraham and Sarah for the appointed time. This is not the first time where you heard the word of God saying that hold on, uh, your change is about to come. This is not the first time where God has spoken unto you and told you the plan of his salvation. The hope of your calling is in Christ Jesus. This is not the first time where God says that if you walk with me, you've got to endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. This is not the first time that you heard in the word of God and the word of the Lord saying uh, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. That every tongue that rises up against you, that your God has given you the power to condemn it. This is not the first time when he said all things work together for your good. Tell your neighbor that what I'm going through is working for my good. There is no temptation that has taken you, but such is common to man. But this is not the first time you heard that your God is faithful. Your God is faithful who won't suffer you to be tempted at which you are able. Those words have been planted in your heart for such a time as this. Those words God planted in your mind so that they can spring up at the appointed time. Though the enemy tried to slay you, no weapon formed against me. Though the devil tried to take you out, you put on the whole armor of God so that you can be able to stand. Stand against the wiles of the devil. Stand having your noise girded about with truth. Stand having on the helmet of salvation. Stand above all taking the shield of faith that you may quench all the fiery darts of the wicked stand on the gospel of the gospel of peace so that you'll be able to stand against every wild, against every trick, against every demon plot. Stand. Oh my God, tell your neighbor, you got to stand. God has put it in you. God worked it in you when you heard the word of faith and it was mixed with the Holy Ghost. For such a time as this, this is your season. This is your hour. You see, God knows how to bring back dead situations. Sarah thought our situation was dead. But with God, all things are possible. Tell you now. But with God, all things are possible. You thought your faith was dead. You thought your anointing was dead. Oh, but God, he knows how to stir up the gift. He knows how to stir up the anointing. He knows how to stir up your power. He knows how to stir up the glory. He knows how to stir up the strength. He knows how to stir up the faith. Knows how to stir up uh, the stirring up. Uh, come on and give God a
the praise unless she thought her situation was dead. But somebody say God. But God. With God, all things are possible. All you got to do is just believe. Sometimes we think we have done too much. Sometimes uh, we have think we've gone too far, uh, but with God, uh, is there anything too hard uh, for your God? Uh, that's a rhetorical question. Uh, God asked her, uh, is there anything too hard? Uh, you see, when Sarah uh, heard that she was going to have a son, uh, she laughed within herself, uh, thinking that the odds are against her. Uh, when God makes you great uh, and precious promises, uh, you think, Lord, uh, how can this uh, happen to me? Uh, I've done so much. Uh, I've been out there too long. Uh, my mind and where it need to be but is there anything too hard for your God is there anything too hard for your God you may have lost some things in 2020 you may have given up in 2020 but now God says stand I'm going to build you back better now God says watch and won't you see you may say, Lord, how can these things be? And you may get down a list, but only God is saying, yeah, is there anything too hard for the Lord? You look at your list, it may be 20, 30 items on it, but God got one question. Is there anything too hard for your God? Can he make a way? Can he open doors? Can he move mountains? Can he lift up your soul? You ought to give God a praise. There's nothing, there's nothing too hard for your God. God said, according to the time of life, <laughs> I'm going to return. Huh? And you're going to have a son. Hallelujah. According to the time of life, Sarah had a son. Uh, named his son Isaac. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God blessed her. We got to realize that God is a rewarder to them that what? Diligently seek him. Huh? Hallelujah. You got to seek God. There's nothing too hard for him. Hallelujah. Wait on God. Tell your neighbor, wait on God. Wait on God. Hallelujah. There's no doubt in his power. There's no doubt in his ability. God waited until her situation and Abraham's situation was dead. Hallelujah. God waited until they couldn't get no heat from one another. And then God stepped right on in. Sometimes God will wait until your situation seems dead. Seems like the doors are closed. Seems like he has forgotten about you. But God knows them that are his. God knows all of his great and precious promises. And at the appointed time, at the appointed season, your God will show up. And when he shows up, he'll show out. He'll show up with power. He'll show up with deliverance. He'll make all things good. He'll make all things new. He'll make all things right. Hallelujah. In this season, my God, that we're going through, we got to realize that men's extremity is literally God's opportunity. Mm, when you have gone all you can, huh? the Bible says stand. When you've done everything that you can, the Bible says stand. When you've prayed all that you can pray, the Bible says stand. When you fasted all that you could fast, the Bible says stand. Hallelujah. When you've given all that you have, the Bible says stand. Hallelujah. Stand waiting on God. Trusting in the Lord. 
leaning on his everlasting arm. Hallelujah. And God will show up. God will show up. God specializes in showing up in dead situations. God specializes in showing up in your extremity. God specializes in making ways where it seemed to be no way. God specializes in turning things around. God specializes in showing forth miracle signs and wonders. God specializes. He's a specialist. Hallelujah. He's the lifter up your soul. Hallelujah. He's the way maker. Hallelujah. He's our heart fixer. He's our mind regulator. Hallelujah. Though your marriage seem to be going through, God specializes. Though your life should be upside down, God specializes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to make a bold statement right now. Hallelujah. Say goodbye to those things that you lost in 2020. Hallelujah. And say hello to 2021. Hallelujah. God is building your back better. Hallelujah. 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 Because he brought us through this, we're going to be better praisers. We're going to be better worshipers. We're going to be better students. We're going to be better soldiers. We're going to be better givers. We're going to be better worshipers. We're going to be better saints of God. You ought to clap your hands and give God a praise. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody tell your neighbor, better. Greater is he. Greater is he that is in you. Huh. Greater is he that is in you. I said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater. Greater. You got the Holy Ghost, don't you? Greater. You've been chosen, haven't you? Greater. Greater. God has not forgotten. According to the time, God will return to fulfill his promises. Uh, he promised that he'd never leave you nor forsake you. He promised that he'd be with you always, even until the end of the world. Uh, God didn't just promise us uh, that he'll be with us in good times. He said he'll be with us in bad times. But sometimes in the bad times, we think that he's not with us. That would make God a liar. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 2020 was a year of vision. Hallelujah. We called on God. We believed in God. You know, sometimes I'm going to come to this kind of final conclusion. You know, sometimes we want the presence of God. Amen. With us. And we've got to realize that the presence of God is not just uh, uh, joy. It's not just peace. But God also comes to stir some stuff up. Huh? God sometimes comes to show you you. Because you got to realize when God shows up, he's holy. He's righteous. And God said, be ye holy. Be ye righteous. Am I right? So, so God wants you to be like him. So God will show you your sins. God will show you your shortcomings. And you can't get upset and angry with God because that's who he is. That's who he is. You can't invite half of his presence. <laughs> Hallelujah. You got to receive the whole God. It'd be like, I know, I know this may sound stupid and sound crazy. But somebody said, uh, Pastor Quinn, I want you to come over to the house for dinner. But, uh, you know, just leave your children. I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, don't y'all know we didn't go. So you're trying to, uh, it wasn't no, like, adult thing. 
They just didn't want me to bring my children. I was like, well, that's who I am. How you going to just invite me and my wife and not invite our family? <laughs> that's sometimes how we feel about God. We want to invite the righteousness of God, the graciousness of God, the, the power of God, but we got to realize that God is holy. So when he shows up, he going to give you grace, he going to give you righteousness, but he also going to show you yourself. <laughs> but then when he shows you yourself, you got to ask the question, huh, when he tells you to overcome, is there anything too hard? Huh? Is there anything too hard for your God? And then you got to say, no. My God is able. My God is mighty. My God is strong. My God is able to clean me up. My God is able to straighten me out. My God is able to save my soul. Come on and clap your hands and give your God a praise. Hey, come on, shot. Your God, the Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness. God is not slack concerning his promises, as some people count slackness, but God is long-suffering. Amen? It's not his will that any should perish, but it's his will that all should come to the knowledge of the truth. God is dealing with us so that we can come to the knowledge of the truth. God is dealing with us so that we'll know how to walk before him, so that we'll know how to live uh, and depend on his great and precious promises. Hallelujah. I'd rather have walk by faith than by sight. I'd rather hold to the promises of God than hold to the promises of man. Hallelujah. Because with God, all things are possible. There's nothing too hard for your God. Though your situation may seem dead, hold on. Though your situation you may be tired of, hold on. Though your situation, your foot was almost about to slip, hold on. You may be in your sleepless night saying, Lord, take me now, but hold on. Your help is on the way. Your help is on the way. Your change is coming. Better days are coming. The promises of God has to be fulfilled. You can't die until God has completed his promise in your life. The enemy can't destroy you until God has worked it out. Until God has shut up and done everything that he has promised you. Come on and clap your hands and give God a praise. Let the church stand. My God. Our God is mighty. Our God is able. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? No. God asked that rhetorical question to Sarah. Hallelujah. Just to get her to think. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, we think about all the negativity, but we got to think. Huh? God got to break our, our train of thought. And you ask yourself this question when you start getting to going down that rabbit hole. Is there anything too hard for God? Children acting up. Is there anything too hard for God? Home life acting up. Is there anything too hard for God? Finances acting up. Is there anything too hard for God? Siri acting up. Is there anything too hard for God? No, not one. Hallelujah. I got Siri on this tablet, and she's trying to get her praise in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There's nothing too hard for God. Nothing too hard for God. So whatever you're facing huh, through this year, 2020, and it seems like it's insurmountable, ask yourself the question, is there anything too hard for the Lord? Come on and clap your hands and give God a praise. Hallelujah.
With uplifted hands, O oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, this is our hour just to confess unto you, to believe on you and your word. We ask you, Lord, that you look upon each and every soul that's under the sound of my voice. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you stretch out your hand and grant them an anointing, an anointing with power, and an anointing with deliverance. Lord, we pray, Lord, that every soul that has repented uh, for everything that he has done wrong, we ask you, Lord, that you blood wash them, that you cleanse them, that you purge them from all unrighteousness, from every word, thought, deed, and every secret thought. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that those that want to get baptized in your name will do so. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will save and add to the church daily such as, such as should be saved. Lord, we're waiting on you. That it's our season. It's our time. Hallelujah. It's the time of life. It's the time to bring forth in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. One Lord, <laughs> one faith, one baptism. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all love on one another. Tell each other praise the Lord. Hallelujah.